Hey houseplant friends, welcome back to my channel. I haven't been here for a minute. I have been going through kind of a crisis. I'm okay, I'm like fine now. But basically I started taking a medication and then it didn't really work very well. And then I got really sick and I'm finally good. Like things are finally good. I just had like the wildest week of my life. <laughs> Uh, I'm very happy to be back. I want to say like I'm so good like everything's gonna be great now But like I have this burst of energy right now. And so that's why we're filming. So yeah, I'm okay I'm gonna be okay. It's just uh, you know medication is a lot and I've never taken meds before so Anyways now that the TMI is out of the way today. We are going to be doing our our wib hiss wib himis uh what i bought and how much i spent i actually prepared this video two weeks ago and then the day that i went to film it was when everything just like fell apart so please hit subscribe if you can watch this video all the way through i wasn't able to like work for the last week and a half so any extra engagement on this video would really help me out <laughs> uh, also you can join the youtube channel memberships it helps support me and keep me going okay so we are doing this for April and May. Today that you're watching this is May 31st. I've always tried to get this posted on the 31st, but it never really has worked out that way. But basically in April, the only thing that I got uh, that I spent money on was a, it's a little like carnivorous plant. It's called like a Pelionia, I think. And it was $16. Then I did a bunch of trades. So, there was like a plant swap, a local plant swap. So I went to that and I traded for, I got a Monster Deliciosa, a spider plant, a massive Hoya Carnosa, a variegated Adansonii, which is the first one I've ever had in my collection, an Indonesian mint, which is also the first one of those I've ever had in my collection, two pink princesses, Hoya Carnosa compacta cutting, a Croniana cutting, a variegated red emerald, or green emerald, sorry. Red crystallinum hybridized with poppy. I got a forgetii hybridized with poppy, a paradiso verde, and a varicosa. The only one of those that didn't make it was the paradiso verde. It was a node and it just didn't acclimate very well. In my experience, those have been kind of hard, so I'm not really that surprised. Yeah, I still have all of these, which I will be showing you at the end, but except for the poor paradiso verde. And that's April. That was it. I didn't spend like any money during April except for that $16. Was actually when I went to the Orchid Society show place thing. And then in May, things got a little bit more complicated. May was when I built my Ikea greenhouse cabinet, the Mills Boat version, not the one behind me, but the big white one. In order to do that, I obviously had to buy supplies and I had to buy the cabinet. Starting off, like in terms of supplies, we're already gonna have some, some expenditures there. When it comes to plants that I purchased, I only purchased a $70 ring of fire. And that was when I was in Arizona. The cabinet was $280 and the supplies were $150. That brings us to a total of $550 for May. Now, if I wasn't including the supplies, this would only be a $70 expenditure. Last year, I didn't include supplies. So if we're talking about in terms of just plants, the fact that I only bought one plant this month and only one last month, it has been an incredible improvement on my part. Big thing uh, that I haven't been doing specifically is I haven't really been going to plant shops. I know you guys love to watch tour videos. Going to plant shops is pretty hard because I see things that I want and makes it a lot harder to not buy them. Yeah, it just hasn't been the best. When I was in Arizona, where about the Ring of Fire, my mom also bought me a Ring of Fire. And then now we're in the mom gift section. So I bought myself a Ring of Fire at the end of the Arizona trip, but my mom bought me one at the beginning. And the reason I bought one at the end was because I was like, you know, I actually think I really like the Ring of Fire and I'd like to have a second one. She also got me a Tortum. We had a bit of an accident. We were getting out of the car, go into a restaurant to eat after a full day of plant shopping. We were so tired and hungry. We stepped out of the car and the bottom of the bag that all the plants were in, cause we're in Arizona. You can't just like, like during summer, you can't just leave plants in the car. Bottom of the bag that we had, it was a paper bag. It just completely 
like gave out and all the plants were fine except for the tortum that my mom bought me that was pretty sad because i had it for like less than an hour so we went back and my mom actually replaced it which was really nice because i was most excited about the tortum out of like all of them because i've been wanting one for so long uh but it was really nice my mom she decided to get me a second one to make me happy which she did not have to do but you know moms be momming you know then she also bought me a syngonia milk confetti and she gave me one of her begonia metacroas and she also gave me a cutting of her adiba poensi so that's the mom gift section but then my subscribers went kind of crazy uh this month and i actually got as a gift from one of my members that i did a trade with or sorry subscribers um i got a begonia fedor i got a begonia temuyuk a begonia darth mall hoya daiki and then a a begonia nimbiensis cutting and a giranelle cutting. The fedor did not make it. All of the other begonias did really, really well after everything was said and done, uh, but the begonia fedor just didn't end up doing very good. It went downhill pretty fast after I got it, unfortunately, so it's okay. Don't worry. I'm sure I'll be able to find another one later, but yeah, unfortunately, that is the one I've lost. So we've only lost two plants so far. Then one of my subscribers, Amanda, actually sent me a mystery box for me to unbox and kind of like film a video for the channel. They sent me a Philodendron Snowdrift, snow a Tricolor White Knight, a White Princess, a Syngonium Milk Confetti, a Variegated Heteraceum, a Syngonium Panda, a Pink Princess, a Dark Lord, Homolomina Erubescens Variegata, and an Allocation adora vergata i got a lot of plants <laughs> um i was blessed i'm aware most people don't just have people send them plants especially plants that are as nice as these my subscribers definitely blessed me it was actually so nice to have these because a lot of these plants uh i had to sell a lot of my plants to move i don't know if you if you're new to the channel i basically i had to move very unexpectedly and i had to sell like probably a little over half of my entire collection so it's just really nice to have people who are so kind and are like, I just want to help you get your collection back. I am, I'm, I don't know, I know it's a privileged position. Um, if I didn't have people giving me plants, I would have only bought two plants and then the plants my mom bought me, which is still like incredible. But yeah, I just want to say, I know that that's a, a, a YouTube privilege thing, so. I also feel like because people were sending me plants, it made it easier to not buy. Um, stuff so and then I wrote down some thoughts after I finished calculating everything out I wrote down that I feel like this month I met my goals because even though my total for May was 550 it was only $70 of that was plants and that was my biggest problem before and the Mills bow is a complete tax write-off plus on top of that it helps me take care of all my plants all of my rare plants at this point are either in the Rudsta or the Mills bow and because of things that can happen like this week where I was like completely incapacitated just in bed gosh the last eight or nine days I I know my plants are gonna be okay all I had to do was get the energy one of the days to mist my cabinets. It's like the best thing I've ever done for myself because I don't know if you're someone who struggles with mental health issues or maybe you're changing medication, going off medication or starting medication, just having something that is going to keep your plants good. Like if, if you didn't touch your plants for two weeks, they'd be okay. You know, it's just really helpful. I think in the long run will help me kill less plants, which is kind of a problem for me. Hello. I love you too. The plants that are out here though did really well. I have made sure to water the ones that look like they aren't gonna last. Everything is going really, really good. And there's a lot of new growth. I can't wait to film a growth update and like show you guys, but gosh, without further ado, let me uh, give you the the total of last, last year in May. We'll, we'll compare it to this year. Okay, holy shit. Um, okay, so. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, you guys, we have we have a vast improvement from last year. April this year, I only spent $16. That is almost, that's the second least I've spent. In January, I didn't spend any money on plants or supplies. So there is that to keep in mind. April, $16. May, plants I spent money on was only $70 but the total is 550 because we're counting supplies this year. However, last year I only tallied up 
plants. So just last, last April on only plants, I spent $1,629.23. This year I spent $16. And last May, I spent $1,196.52. This year I spent $70 plus the cabinet and the supplies, which makes it $550. But if we're only comparing the plants, $70. You guys, I'm doing so good. <laughs> I'm so impressed with myself. That means that our total for like this year so far, almost six months in, and the, our only other big month was, it was March, which was $671. And that was when I made the Mills, but, or the, I, the Red stuff. So I bought a lot of supplies for this. So it looks like so far, I've spent around $1,500 this year on plants and supplies. Last year at this point in time, I had already spent almost $6,000 on plants. So we are doing really good. You guys, if bookkeeping isn't something you've done before and you wanna like, you wanna go for it. We are doing so much better. And it's because I'm, I'm writing down literally, if, if I buy something, I write it down in my book. If, and then at the end of the month, I have to go through and like look at everything again. So this has been so helpful so far. <laughs> I can't wait to see how we do um, going forward too. Now, let me go ahead and show you all of the plants that I got this month. There's a lot, so get ready for my April and May houseplant haul. We're gonna go mobile so I can show you everything in a timely fashion because how many plants did we get? We got 17 plants in total in April and 21 plants in total during May. So let's get into the plants. The first one I got is actually this Monster Deliciosa, this tall one right here. I got this at the plant trade. It's got quite a few leaves on it. I think just five. Yeah, five. This is the newest leaf. I was really worried about it uh, because it got all sad, but it's kind of perking up now. It looks really nice in this spot. The Monstera wall is definitely growing. We're getting stronger and stronger every day. <laughs> so very happy with that. Then right here, I got this spider plant, which was a rehab when I bought it. It has given me a couple spots with some babies. However, this one has been pretty slow going, so don't mind the sweet potato vines. Then I got this massive Hoya Carnosa. It is thirsty right now. I do need to water it, but it is a very, very, very large plant that hangs down very far. So um, it's very big. It is growing right now, which is pretty cool. I do need to water it, but yeah. I thought that was a really good trade. It's so big. The next plant I got was this variegated Adansonii. I got it when it was just that leaf. So it has given me this one. And then uh, this is the one it's gonna unfurl next. Very excited. This is from uh, NSE Tropicals. This is the Indonesian mint one that I got. And then it gave me this leaf. And then this one, which is literally so beautiful. Actually, I haven't even looked at that yet. Then I got this pink princess. This is actually the newest leaf it gave me. It's so striking. And then there's a second pink princess down here that I also got. It's so hard to see, but it's just kind of burgundy right now. Got those at the trade as well. Here is the emerald queen right there. And here is the new growth. So she is doing stuff it's such a pretty variegation if you don't know what an emerald queen is it is uh, a strawberry shake is a variegated red emerald philodendron this is a variegated green emerald philodendron then in that little hanging pot i actually got a micans it is potted up in that cute little hanging pot right there i think it's doing pretty good it's getting actually really long Let's see it's coming down quite a lot in my jasmine is growing up it that is very cute then i got two cuttings one of them is this hoya carnosa compacta cutting that i'm currently rooting the other one is this hoya croniana cutting that is giving us a new leaf you can see it right there wow here is actually our dead paradiso node is pretty sad he did not he did not like life i also got a varicosum i did a trade uh with this gal here is part of it here is another part of it. And here is the final part of it in the Mills bow. 
it's doing very well in here, I think. Then I got this red crystallinum hybrid with Poppy. This is a Poppy Forgetti Eye, little baby right there. And my one only purchase is this cute little sundew that catches that catches fungus nets for me. That was April, so now let me show you May. So the biggest thing I I bought in May was this cabinet. <laughs> I bought the cabinet, which was $280. The supplies for the cabinet ended up being $150. From Arizona, I got these two Tordums. They're both right next to each other right here. Then I got a Ring of Fire. Here is one of them. Right here, it's actually giving us a new leaf right there. The other Ring of Fire is down here, also giving us a new leaf. In the back over here, we have the Syngonium Milk Confetti that I got from Arizona. It is very nice. Also, Ilse Mania is doing another leaf. Very exciting. The Adipopoensi is in the Mills Bow and it is chilling. It is living life. And then back here are my little begonia metacroa. It's pretty hard to see, but they are rooting kind of back here in the dark. <laughs> here is our sad begonia fedora, as you can see. I watered it a ton. It didn't like anything. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna actually isolate the rhizome and I'm gonna plant it in there where all the other begonias are because the other ones are doing amazing. So maybe he just wants more humidity. Here is the Hoya Daiki that I got. It is all tucked in. It's actually getting a little sun stressed, which is pretty fun. Here is that funky little cutting that she sent me and the Begonia Guirinelle cutting I actually gave to a friend because I already have that Begonia. Then my last two are actually in here. Okay, so this is my Begonia box. I planted this not too long ago. I made a video about it, but I accidentally filmed the entire thing in slow motion. So it's pretty sad. But the other plants that that girl sent me are this Begonia Darth Maul, and it is literally doing so good. This box sits on top of my red stuff, and the top of the red stuff is really warm because the lights make so much heat. And so the box stays like really warm, and then it gets this mother grow light on it all the time as well as natural light as well i mean it literally it looks so much better than when i first planted it and the plants are i mean they're really coming in then they also surprised me and sent me a begonia species temuyuk which is also growing really really fast so i'm very happy about that you can kind of see how gooey the color looks it's really nice also, I forgot about a plant from Arizona. I got this Begonia gogoensis, or Futoensis, I guess. Uh, and it's already making babies, so woohoo. But yeah, I cut it up and I put it in here because it wasn't doing very well after it got transported. So I was like, you know what? You're going in there, so. All right, we're down to the last 10 plants from Amanda. Here we have the Philodendron Snowdrift. It is putting out a growth point right here and then actually another one around the other side. And it's doing really well. The growth point is slowly getting bigger. Then here we actually have the Tricolor White Knight which has given me two red leaves in a row so far. Here is our White Princess. I got that as a little node. Here we have some Philodendron Heteraceum that is doing really well, putting out some new leaves, some more down here. And then we got the Syngonium Panda. They sent me another milk confetti. That is this one, who is doing very well. There's two plants on here, which is pretty fun. They also sent me the Philodendron Dark Lord. They sent me another Homolomina Aerubescens Pink Variegata and an Alocasia Odora Variegata, which is so pretty. It's doing really well in here too. They also sent me a pink princess, but I can't find it. There's not even like that many places I could put it. Unless I'm confusing a pink princess I got at the trade. I planted them all. How could I lose one? Oh, it's down here. <laughs> that scared me so bad. Okay. Here is the pink princess that they sent me. I was like, where is it? I know that I got one. It's very pretty. It has really nice color on it. So, yeah. 
Also, I didn't mention this, but I also got this allocation fry deck. I don't know. Oh, I guess and I got two. Okay, you guys, I'm forgetting things. <laughs> I also got, at some point, these variegated string of hearts. I got this one from the same gal I got the fry deck from, and these are both from the trade. I don't know how I forgot about those, but two bonus plants. <laughs> so they're all just kind of chilling right here. I'm going to put them all in one big pot, but for now I'm just letting them, you know, get a little bit longer before I traumatize them by moving them all around. <laughs> That is how much I bought and what I spent. I hope you enjoyed the video. These videos are always pretty long, so thank you so much for sticking around if you're still here. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Join the YouTube channel memberships if you can. It's only $5 a month and it helps me so much. The Discord now is also free though, so you're welcome to just join the Discord. If you're looking for extra ways to support me right now, you can buy some liquid art by using code PLANME underscore 25. You'll get 25% off your entire order. That helps me out a lot. If you want some new glasses, I use Zymph glasses and you can use code Ashley at checkout the link in the description for 50% off frames and 20% off lenses. Other than that, I'm sorry for being gone for so long. You guys, medication is crazy. <laughs> so um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wish me luck. <laughs> Bye. Drink your meds and take your water.